What's up, bros and sisters? Y'all already know what it is. Another episode of Spiritual Ventilation. <laughs> Man, I've been having a lot of shit on my mind. As far as all the systemic shit just popping off. The shit almost have a nigga hallucinating at this bitch. But all you gotta do is be aware. And at the same time, be focused. So awareness and focus is the main goal. And you want your body working with your mind. Cause you know the mind thinks fast, so you want your body working with your mind. So, you know, with all the systemic shit out here, it makes it hard. Um, I realize how rooted America is in racism and how systemic things are. And this systemic, this systemic system has been built over 400 years. Because we've been in slavery, everybody knows, for 400 years, but we've actually been in slavery for longer than that. Probably 2,000 plus, you know what I'm saying? But that's a whole nother topic. But this systemic racism and systemic um, supremacy is for certain people to stay on top and, 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 and other races to stay on bottom. Stay on the bottom, excuse me, but. I'm gonna tell y'all how deep systemic shit is. If you pay attention daily, if you just sit back and watch, I got pulled over on Labor Day. And the police let me pass him up. He was parked at a corner. And uh, I said, all right, he didn't even pull off. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna lie, my tags was expired. You know what I'm saying? They was expired. And, uh, when the light turned green a block away from him, he pulled behind me. So it let me know right then and there, he know the timing of the lights. See, think about the human body. You got all these veins and everything's going to the heart. You know, oxygen and uh, wasted oxygen. I think um, oxygen is blue and I think red is the blood that's where the oxygen has depleted out the blood. You know what I'm saying? That's what the heart uses, I believe. I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, but you got red, you got red veins and you got blue veins. You know what I'm saying? And this is all vital waves, veins, like, like roadways to your heart. So I'm thinking spiritually because they studied the human body. I'm reaching, I'm reaching, but just listen to me. Just catch, just, just catch up, just catch up. With all these streets, because your body's a system and it works in harmony with your mind and it works in harmony with your heart and it works in, in your, your body, your spirit, your soul, it works in harmony with God. So with the systemic society, you're driving all through these ventricles and all through these, through these roadways. And when they say stop, you stop. And when you, they say go, you go. Same as, same as your blood supply, it stops, goes with heartbeats. I'm thinking, I'm thinking deep. This is called spiritual ventilation, man. Just, 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 just hang on to the, hang on to the, to the end of it. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, this is what I'm getting at. Systemic supremacy and systemic racism is so deep that they found a way to control your mind just through daily commute. Just through daily commute. Let me let my, let me hit my long gallon nice tea. Whatever you doing in life, whether it was legal or illegal, stop, go. Stop, go. That's all we doing every day. We're programmed to stop and go. Y'all remember red light, green light? We learned that game in kindergarten. Red light, green light, all right. When you're on the way to work, I will never, wherever you on your way to, A, 
to be. You're transporting. That's why it's called transportation. You're transporting from one spot to another. But you're stopping at all these vital intersections. And every intersection that you stop at, don't you notice? Everybody is watching. Okay, that's normal. That's normal. That's normal. But it's a system. It's a system. Then if you were if you a model citizen and a blue collar worker and you go to work every morning, you're gonna see the same people daily. The same people. At seven o'clock in the morning you get up, you're gonna see damn near the same people at each light. You look over, good morning basically. That's what white people do. That's what certain races do. You know what I'm saying? They know each other's cars. But if your car is not in the group of people that they know, it throws a red flag. Cause you know, some races are nosier than others. It's deep, it's deep. Even the police knows who's supposed to be at what point when they supposed to be there. As if you're a blue collar citizen, and if you're a functional citizen, and you're you're um, you're an asset to their system, they know they know who you are. So America is full is built on racism. America has a lot of narcissistic forefathers, and the narcissism has been spread onto black people. I mean, have you ever noticed when you pull up at a stoplight and you behind a car and you and you looking ahead, but most, this is how you identify a narcissistic person. You looking dead at their ass through their rear view. Like, why you, why, why you keep looking behind you? The light is green, go. That's the mark of a narcissistic person. Cause if you driving, you're only worried about what's in front of you. I mean, you might occasionally, but most most narcissistic people is like this. You can see they damn ass in the rear view, and they won't get at them bitches. The mark of mark of Satan, man. You know what I'm saying? When we when blacks was in their own country thousands of years ago, do you think we had to worry about watch watch so and so and? You gotta watch block watching, watch your neighbor, uh, watch the neighborhood in case it's pedophiles. I mean, when we came to America, man, it was, it, I mean, we was hit with so many demonic spirits, man. It's crazy, man. This it's is crazy, man. It's not gonna get no better, man. It's not gonna get no better. I rode next to a lady. She was in a truck ahead of me yesterday. And every time I pull behind her, she got her arm on the window with sunglasses on. And she's looking her rear view mirror at me the whole time. Okay, she might not have been looking at me, but damn, motherfucker, why I gotta look at your motherfucking face with sunglasses on? This is my thing, man. And, and speaking of sunglasses, I know for a fact there can't be a black invention because why would black people invent sunglasses to block the sun? The hell out of here, man. I don't, I, I don't think y'all understand how deep this deep is systemic America is, man. It's all systemic. It's it's like a it's like a, a fine-tuned clock. Stop and go. Stop and go. You know what I'm saying? There's, they, I mean, you really don't see the narcotics no more. You don't see the uh, the narcs no more. The agents. They don't have to because everything is so sis. I mean, the phones. Shit, I got an email on my phone today because I took a corona test. And they going to tell me, put your birthday in. And once I put my birthday in, they wanted me to okay that they can have access to my Google photos. So when I hit it, it automatically sent them my location. And probably my photos. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is this, America is not bad, it's just the people who run it. America is not a bad country, it's just the people who run it. That's all, because they have an inferiority complex, 
and they always looking in the rear view because they know the people behind them is one day gonna wake up and we have woken up and they're always if you oppress people you always infer that it's gonna be an uprising so it's just uh i mean i can go hours man talking about systemic racism systemic supremacy and systemic profiling i can i could i could i can talk hours about it man it's like it's crazy man it's it's so many narcissistic people in America, the shit was passed on to blacks. Cause we, I mean, we're not no narcissistic people, but we, we learned that, we learned that from our oppressors, man. You know, we worried about who, we worried about who's doing better than us, or who, who's selling this, or who got a bigger house, or, man, this shit is crazy, man. All, I, all you got to do is worry about yourself. All you got to do is build yourself up. That's all you got to do. Is build yourself up. Don't never look in the rear view. Man, this Long Gallon is good, man. I'm, still, man, I'm on these Long Gallons, man. But, uh, I had to make this video real quick, man. I'm over a friend's house, man. And, you know what I'm saying? I just made a video real quick before they get back. But um, I don't know. Some of y'all might be like, "He's fire out there. He's fire out there." But no, nah, I think I think I'm on to something, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it adds to your delusional thoughts, your, your your delusional mentality. And I don't think I don't think that's a label. Of people calling people delusional. But how are you delusional if you know what you see is factual? Come on now, how are you delusional if, if what you see you know you intelligent enough to know that what you see is factual? But this per the first person that call you delusional is the person that has no knowledge, that has no awareness, I have no fear of God, man. That's crazy, right? That, that term ketchup mustard, man, that's, that's old. I don't even like it, ketchup mustard. <laughs> Man, I don't know what to say, man. Man, hey, man, these fake, these fake people, they fade away like the wind, like a leaf in the wind, man. Only the strong survive. Salute. God bless y'all. You have a blessed day.